Today I'm bringing you two new easy summer wood round sign ideas and we're using Dollar Tree products to create these. I'm also bringing you a DIY fail because on this channel, I like to show you that not everything turns out as I intend. If we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. Now, as I mentioned before, you can find the products that I'm using today at Dollar Tree or something very, very similar. And currently for the wood round sign, they have the beach vibes only, but they also carry a palette shape sign, a square sign, a rectangle sign, a tag shape sign, whatever sign suits your fancy, that's the one you need to use. And to prep the sign, I'm just removing that sticker off of the back. I'm also going to be taking the bow off of the front. And as you can tell, this is a fall sign. I'm also gonna remove that jute twine hanger. And I'm gonna give this two good coats of folk art paint. And the reason I have to give it two good coats is because this is actually made of like a chipboard material and the paint soaks in. So if you give it two good coats, you're gonna get really good coverage. Now this is gonna be a lemon sign. I did put a lemon, a uh, yellow circle in the middle. And then I'm just going around and I am freehanding some triangular shapes. I'm not trying to be super perfect about this. I did want it to look, you know, just like I made it, not like it was just machine made or something. I don't know. And so then I realized that middle circle was should be white. <laughs> so, and then I add a little bit of paint around because I was trying to lighten up just around the center to make it look more like a lemon. And then I'm going back in, I added some seeds with a white paint pen and I'm going back in with a paintbrush and just kind of touching things up and you know, just filling it out how I like. Now kind of my favorite part, I'm adding these little, um, I'm not really sure what you call them, just taking my paintbrush and kind of doing a Mackenzie Childs type thing and I'm going all the way around and adding these little paintbrush strokes and I just think it really pops so pretty against that white and yellow. I love it. Now I have made a decal using my Cricut. It says squeeze the day and I'm just going to be transferring that on and I am trying to put it on the like towards the lower part of the sign so that I can put a bow on top. I'm going to be making this bow. I'm not the best bow maker in the world. So I just took these strips. I saw this idea on TikTok. I took these strips and then I'm just going to kind of bunch them together right where I folded them and see kind of bunching them together. forming a kind of like a bouquet kind of thing. And so then I tie it with some jute twine and you could use wire, you could use a zip tie, whatever you have handy. I had jute twine handy, so that's what I used. And then I'm trying to fluff out the bow a little bit and make it not look so, I don't know. I feel like the loops are a little bit big for this project, but maybe you like, I like big bows and I cannot lie. No, I don't really like big bows. <laughs> I like mine a little bit smaller, but this is the size I made for this one. And then I forgot I needed to kind of cover up that back since it is a fall sign on the back. And it's a cute enough sign, but I didn't want this one to be two-sided. So I'm just taking some brown craft paper that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm taking a glue stick that I also got from Dollar Tree and just kind of gonna glue that down. Now this is how it turns out. It pops off my teal colored door. So it just looks so pretty y'all. And I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. And yes, I even like the big bow. <laughs> All right, y'all, here is the DIY fail. So I had a rectangular sign from Dollar Tree and I was giving it the two coats of white paint. I was gonna sketch on some lines because I was gonna paint blue lines all the way across. Not trying to be perfect, but giving myself a guide. And then I painted lines going in the opposite direction and things were going okay, but I just didn't like how it was turning out. So I painted the whole thing blue. And as I pulled that tape back, painter's tape back, mm, messed up. So I switched gears and I put, did the same process on a round wood sign. And I was gonna put down this really super cute little decal that I cut with my Cricut. And as I pulled it back, as I pulled it back, yeah. So here's DIY number two now, 
and I have painted this. I prepped it all the way just like I did the first sign and I'm putting some painter's tape down to mark where I'm gonna start painting. Easy peasy lemon squeezy so far. Oh, lemon was the other sign. <laughs> All right, so now I'm taking some green paint. I didn't like the first color green. It was too lime for me. So I came back in with a darker shade of green and I'm going around. And if you haven't guessed it already, I don't know how you couldn't guess it, but anyway, this is gonna be a watermelon slice. By the way, I got this idea from, I'm basically copying Caitlin from Cat, uh, Crafts by Caitlin. And so anyway, I'm putting this watermelon color in the middle trying to leave a little bit of a white line all the way around and then I'm going in and doing this little squiggly line I'm gonna link her video in the description box below so you can see how hers turned out mine's just a little bit different but essentially this watermelon is just like she did it and as you'll notice I've already put some round circles onto the watermelon they're way too light so I'm going to go back in and use some more paint and kind of darken those up so they're not as stark looking. So there's a little bit less of a contrast, if you will. Now everybody's favorite part, the reveal. Just look at that crisp line. I love it. I was trying to be careful because I didn't want it to pull up any of the paint, but it came out so good. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to be adding in the seeds. And again, I am like literally copying Caitlin. So Caitlin, if you're watching, hey girl, hey, <laughs> I loved your project so much. I wanted to recreate it for myself. So I'm just using a black sh uh, black paint pen. I guess you could use a Sharpie too, but anyway, using a black paint pen and just kind of coloring it in. And then I cut out this decal. It says summertime with my Cricut and peeling it back and nothing is peeling back except for the transfer tape. So everybody breathe a sigh of relief. <sighs> and now I'm adding some highlights to those watermelon seeds. And then I'm adding these little squiggly lines and some dots, again, exactly like Caitlin did. I just thought hers turned out so super cute and it's really, really easy to recreate. It's You don't have to know how to draw a watermelon or anything like that. Just kind of do the same steps as I did. Now I'm prepping the back before I put the bow on. Gosh, imagine that. And again, just using some brown craft paper that I got from Dollar Tree. The glue stick is also from Dollar Tree and I'm just kind of pressing that down. I like to, it to be finished on the back side if possible. And then I'm going around and cutting away the excess brown craft paper. And then I'm gonna make another bow. Now I need to practice my bows, but I'm making that bow smaller because as I mentioned before, I didn't like the bigger loops. So I tried to make these loops a little bit smaller and I did use jute twine. I think next time I might try to use a zip tie because I think that would just have made it a little bit tighter when I tied it, <laughs> but we'll see. And so um, I did add the jute twine hanger back in. I just pushed through the brown craft paper with the little, because it had like a little stick thing on it. And then now I'm trying to figure out, I've dovetailed the ends of the, the bow ribbon and now I'm just trying to figure out where I want it I'm trying to position everything trimming as I feel like I need to gluing down a couple pieces so that they kind of stay in place and y'all oh my goodness does this not look so super stinking cute I really really love it I think it just pops and I just I just think it's perfect for summer So thank you, Caitlin, for the idea. And thank you so much for watching my video today. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye!